Hey guys, what's happening? It's Clipper. And Kitten. With a kitten. This Cameo is from Muffin. It's Muffin. <laughs> Today, Pro Wrestling Luke Crate uh, for the month of April has arrived in the mail. Just got home. I uh, just got this. So, with no further ado, here is the unboxing. You want me to hold the box? Uh, I, can, I can hold it like this. As I'm not peeking or anything. I'm going to pull out the shirt first. Oh, this is cool. What is it? The Intercontinental um, Heavyweight Championship T-shirt. This is a funny shirt. A Rio de Janeiro. I was there. And the reason why this is funny, um, supposedly the WWF in the 70s, I believe it was, introduced the Intercontinental um, Championship. And a tournament was supposedly held in Rio de Janeiro that was won by Pat Patterson. The funny thing was... There was no tournament in Rio de Janeiro. It was completely uh, made up. But um, for the sake of history, Pat Patterson won a tournament in Rio de Janeiro. And it was 1979 right here. So this is a pretty cool t-shirt. Are you excited? Very happy with okay. this. Let me hold it. Yeah, you want to fold it up for me? Yeah. Okay. Next thing... I'm going to get out the figure for this month. Barry Horowitz. Who's that? I don't know him. He, um... Was, Let me show it. Yeah. He was mainly known as um, what they call enhancement talent or a jobber. Meaning when you watched uh, Superstars of Wrestling or Wrestling Challenge, he was the wrestler that got squashed by the Undertakers and Bret Hart's of the world. And around 1995 or so... He received a mild push in the WWF when he defeated Skip of the Body Donnas. And one of Barry Horowitz's trademarks was he would pat himself on the back after making a good move. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I always appreciated Barry Horowitz, so I'm very happy with this as well. Okay, what's next? Okay. Next. Feeling around here. <laughs> Got a pack of cards. Ooh. AWS Legends. Hmm. What's AWS? I actually cannot tell you what AWS is. Okay. I believe it's a... We find out together? Yeah. An AWS shop exclusive. Uh, Scorpio Sky is the first. Hmm. Yeah, you have Scorpio Sky, La Parca. I think this was the Lucha Libres that was... Advertising this month's box, if I'm not mistaken, or Candice LeCrae, Little Cholo. Hey, Cat. I'm not speaking to Muffin when I say Cat. I'm speaking to Cat. Her name is Cat. And yeah, all of these are. You want me to show them fastly? Yeah. Um, this trading car set features some of the legendary men and women who have been a part of creating the 16 year legacy that is AWS Wrestling. Produced by Four Corners Cards and sold exclusively at the new AWS shop inside of the Frank and Son Collectible Show in the city of Industry, California. Hey, cow, be careful. And I freely admit I'm not familiar with that at all, so that's something new to me. We're learning. No, don't chew on that. Sorry if you guys are shaking around. It's not me. It's not my. It's not my camera work. It's cat. Back to the review. Hmm, cool. Okay. Is there more in there? Yes. Oh yes. Wow. Cool. I'm feeling around it. Just how cat, much more there is. We well, have a pen. A mm -hmm. a cholo pen. Pro wrestling loot. That's a pretty nice made pin. Yes, it is. Okay. And like I said, guys, um, I just got this, so I want to kind of like savor the anticipation, I guess you could say. 
but that's you feel. I feel about three more things, I believe. Okay. Got this. What's this? It's in an envelope. It's a pro wrestling movie, The Legend of Dirty Ron. I don't know if these are stickers or what. Matt Sidell as the shaman. And Mika Wolf. Yeah, they're stickers. These look, look like um, steels uh, from the movie, like steels, like um, picture steels. Like steel magnolias? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Another. Um, Let me do one. Okay, let me see this one. This guy's thing is all sparkly. I like that. This guy right here, Rob Van Dam. I am familiar with Rob Van Dam. Two more stickers. And this is a release about the uh, movie. Okay, so it's uh, like a little pro, like some promo stuff for the movie. Yeah, a pro wrestling movie, The Legend of Dirty Ron by wrestling fans for wrestling fans. If you want to hold this up, if you'd like to read this, you can pause it. Read it if you like. If I can get it to focus. Cat, will you quit? Don't chew on that. Much like AWS, I'd not heard of the uh, pro wrestling movie before, so that's I hadn't, pretty cool. I hadn't either. I knew going in they were going to have like um, a Lucha Libre type feature, so a lot of what we saw on the um, AWS cards feature some of those as well as ch the Cholo pin. Mm -hmm. but then you've got the um, Barry Horowitz and the Intercontinental. So a nice uh, mix here. I don't know as much about any of these ones that you're getting today. Here's the poster. Looks like this is an autograph. Well, no, it's not an autograph. But this is a poster of a kid watching. Looks I like, feel like this is a picture of you. It could very well be. <laughs> this is a artist rendition of someone, I believe, watching WrestleMania 3. Uh, the match between Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, and the Macho Man, Randy Savage. The Macho Man. Now there is someone I know. This is a really cute poster. Yeah. Makes me think of little baby you watching this one. <laughs> and now I believe we've came to the end. We've got the autograph picture. Okay. Okay. Who is it this Autograph way? picture is of... What's it say on the back? I was going to look on the spoiler sheet here okay. and get the... Personally signed by... Um, triple A superstar La Hydra. La Hydra, I believe that is. That's a cool outfit. Yes, it is. Kind of reminds me of like a poison ivy, like off of oh, yes. Batman. That's really cool. So, there you have this month's uh, pro wrestling loot. I'd like to mention this um, because this is a subscription box that I'm going to keep going forward. Um, if there's anything you see on here that you would possibly be interested in making maybe a trade of some sort, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you um, if I'm willing to trade anything. I will say out of this box so far, the shirt and the Barry Horowitz um, figure I'm definitely keeping. Um, the rest of the uh, things that I pulled out, I may be uh, willing to part with if, um, if a deal could be made. So if you'd like to... Um, Okay, Maybe um, have a proposal for a trade of some sort. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's that for um, this month's box. Um, next month's box, uh, we did see a preview for it. It's going to be ECW heavy. And I'll be honest with you guys, by the time ECW really started getting popular in the mid to late 90s, I was getting out of wrestling and going towards basketball. So this box coming up next month probably won't be having as many collectibles that I intend on keeping so again um, or that you're familiar with or I familiar guess, huh? with so uh maybe next month if that holds true to form there might be some more tradable items in there but at the same time this is my second pro wrestling loot box very happy with it um i forget the exact price for it i think it was around what 34 dollars per month i think it's like 35 but that include that's by the time they do shipping, Shipping. so it may be different depending yeah. on where you live, I would say. So for that... But you, we'll link all of their information below. 
And it's, it's, it's a great value, guys, because you're guaranteed a T-shirt yeah. and an autographed picture each month. So definitely, if you love professional wrestling or you love collecting like pop culture stuff, because wrestling and pop culture mm -hmm. a lot of times go hand in hand, definitely worth uh, the investment and then the time it takes to... Did you uh, show them the um, spoiler sheet? Oh, no, I did not. Okay. So there you have it for, for this um, edition of the Pro Wrestling Loot Unboxing. Until next time, I'm Clipper. And Kitten. Later, folks.